All right, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in today to the College of Sport and Fitness and Queensland Touch Football Zoom chat. My name is Tristan Munner. I'm the Performance and Pathways Manager here at Queensland Touch Football. Um, why are we here? So Queensland Touch Football have partnered with the College of Sport and Fitness as our official knowledge partner. And we're working really closely with them on delivering our Certificate 2 in Sport and Recreation and our Certificate 3 in Sport Coaching in Schools. That brings me to, on the call we have with us, John Iacona and Lee Shea from the College of Sport and Fitness. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Well, thanks for taking some time out to sort of bring us all up to speed with what's happening. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. We've got a couple of key questions that we want to all ask Lee and John today about the program. Some of the key topics we'll cover in today's session will include how the program works and the benefits and opportunities available to students and teachers. And we'll open up the floor and let you ask any questions you may have at the end. It should all take about 30 minutes, but we won't be keeping you for that long, I'm sure. I talk really fast and I like to talk lots. Um, but we'll have some fun with it. Firstly, let's get started. I know this is probably um, you know, something that most of you in the room here know already. But um, guys, could you give us a quick overview of what CSF is and what is VETAS? No worries, I'll take that one. So CSF is a registered training organisation. We've got campuses in Queensland, New South Wales and Western Australia. We've been around for about 13 years now and we offer sports specific courses from certificate through to advanced diploma levels. Uh, in Queensland, we're also a pre-qualified supplier, that's the technical word, so that means we can provide government funded training. And one of those government funded training programs is vetting schools or VETIS, as you said, Tristan. So what's different about our program is we have, we try to incorporate practical hands-on training as well as the employable skills, make sure they come out with a job outcome. Um, but there's also the academic side, which is the QCE and the pathways to further studies. Awesome. So just pick out a couple of things that you said there. Um, you mentioned there's hands-on training. So how does that work in the College of Sport and Fitness Touch Football Certificate 2 and 3? Yeah, so you've got the sport and recreation and you've got the sport coaching. And those courses have actually been designed because of the partnership so that the students complete a Touch Football Australia approved curriculum. So they're doing the lower level certificates um, in coaching and officiating. So not only do the kids get the um, nationally recognised Certificate 2, Certificate 3 qualifications, they also get those practical accreditations in Touch so that, that you know, they can go out and become a coach and a ref as soon as they've kicked off the courses. And sort of practical from a school's perspective is that um, because of the partnership with QTF, we can align the QTF calendar of events with the training calendar we have in the schools. So as the events are going, we incorporate that into our training and the students can participate or can run events, the QTF events, and either they're participating in those or they can work as coaches or refs if they've done their uh, lower level qualifications. Awesome. Um, one thing, can I just get everybody on the call just to mute their phone, if that's all right, please? I was just picking up feedback while Johnny was talking. That's all right. Do you want me to go over anything? Or you no, all good. All good. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. okay. Um, so just bringing it back to that point. So that's one of the key benefits of doing a course like this, right? I mean, compared to some of the other ones out there, you can leverage the partnership with Queensland Touch Football, and therefore there's better alignment through our events, our affiliates, competitions, and our pathways. Is that right? Hey, I'll take yeah, Lee, do you want to take that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, no, exactly, Tristan. Um, the whole partnership itself means that we can provide the students with the real life experiences, match them, uh, and the best contacts through uh, Touch Football Queensland as well. So, by designing it, we can align all the elements from the program with QTF events um, and run that so that way it counts towards the other students' credits you know, in their studies as well. Um, so, we're also working with this to with the local affiliates so the students can also um, you know, access opportunities within touch football, uh, the, the community, uh, while they're still at school. And with that, uh, they, they're also uh, getting value with the Queensland Touch Football involvement and providing you know, specific module delivery around the program as well. So by working with each school, we design the course, the curriculum, key elements, um, and anything like, you know, examples might be like um, data analytic, analytics or um, high performance within the, um, the, the school sports program as well. So map all that together around the program. 
That's a good point. I mean, who, you know, who runs the classes? And following on from that, CSF is the only VETUS program that has access to running Touch Football Australia and Queensland Touch Football accreditation of Level 1 referees and foundation coaching courses. Is that right? That's right. So CSF can deliver the uh, part of this with, uh, with TFA and, and QTF accredited courses as part of the VETUS program. Mm. Um, so, and in relation to that, um, so who's running the, the courses, the classes themselves? We found um, most of our models work with uh, by CSF um, partnering with the sporting organisations and providing a trainer to deliver face-to-face -face teaching uh, along with a coordinator. So it could be QTF uh, specific uh, curriculum, uh, the foundation of coaching and officiating uh, delivered by QTF uh, and approved by uh, with the coaches and referee officials. So we try to make it flexible and adaptable to what uh, each school's needs as well within their program. Awesome. So part of that, we what we do, we can provide a qualified trainer uh, or and staff to assist and support the teachers. Um, whether it's a, uh, it could be an online uh, delivery platform or uh, based with a trainer in the classroom. Um, the actual course design itself. Uh, can be delivered and uh, created around between four and eight terms based on the school's requirement. Um, we also do the RPLs with the, the teachers uh, towards a Cert 3 in, in coaching and uh, use that also as form of PD as well. So, but another part of this is what we do is that um, we try to bring um, industry guests into the program as well and use QTF use other um, people around the, uh, around the community, around the program uh, in the classroom to engage in it as well. Um, and then by bringing other you know, development, the development officers uh, into on the, either on the field or um, in the uh, classroom, um, you know, it gives it more benefit as well. And um, along with obviously providing the PDAs with the, uh, the school staff as well, as facilitators, yeah. But, there's one thing I wanted to ask uh, Tristan itself. Um, you mentioned that so a number of schools already have presenters for courses at some of yeah, the schools. Yeah, 100% right. I mean, so, you know, for our teachers and um, staff out there, we've got a number of schools who love the opportunity of running these courses for themselves already, um, helping them to manage their school competitions and their development of their touch footy within their own school. So whether you're aware or not, Touch Football Australia, they conduct facilitator courses throughout the year that accredit teachers um, or coaches to be able to run the coach and referee courses in-house. So this is a really important step for schools looking to gain the Touch Football Australian endorsement as a Touch Excellence School, or even just the ability to be able to provide these courses um, you know, through this kind of platform. So yeah, I think it's a really good opportunity. The other one is going back to our first question. Um, you mentioned that students can gain additional credits from completing these certifications, um, sorry, certifications that you guys have. So could you provide some more info on that? Yeah, sure. Uh, so when the students complete the Cert 2 or the Cert 3, they're entitled to receive QC points based on what they study with us. Depending on how we package the program, they can receive up to between 4 to 10 QC points for this. Um, and in addition to this, the, the students also complete the TFA coaching and refereeing courses. And that counts towards their Cert 2 or Cert 3 as part of the program package as well. Mm -hmm. That's great. I think, um, you know, the key thing for me that I've learned through all my discussions with CSF, with John and Lee, is that the course doesn't only have sport related content. Um, it can apply to many career roles within industries that have the same business needs as sport, like we know, including events, you know, hanging out with rates, finance and marketing operations um, and all the different things we do related to touch football. So I think it's really important to realise that running this kind of certificate can actually package a lot of that stuff up and we can be having kids involved in sport without even having to set foot on the field. Um, and you guys know how much I'm a touch lover and I you know, love every school in Queensland to run a course like this. So we have more coaches and referees out there. But I think it's something that um, can engage kids in their communities and ticks, you know, heaps of boxes for students to want something different out of their school. Encouraging an active lifestyle, healthy, providing the opportunity to get real life experiences as well as giving back to their community once they've finished their accreditations. Um, so I guess before we open up for any questions people may have, is there anything else, John or Lee, you'd like to add? Uh, probably just the main takeaways from this, from my perspective, are you getting a TFA and a QTF approved program? You're getting the QCE points. Uh, the course is designed to be practical, engaging for the kids. Um, working with QTF, we can work out the work experience for them as well. 
and the students end up with that industry recognised qualification, so they're job ready.